what's up everybody coming to you today with an opinion piece on the Manny Pacquiao versus Mikey Garcia possible fight taking place in May you know the other day Mikey came out and said that they he is close to finalizing a fight with Manny Pacquiao for May of this year and I don't know how real this news is or not I mean for, Pac for Mikey to come out and say that this this fight is close to being done, um, that's big, you know, and I think, I don't, you know, Pacquiao is usually a guy that confirms or denies, or he denies right away if it's something that's false, and um, his people will do that too, and in the days since I've heard this news, I haven't heard anybody denying anything, so... That's a pretty big deal. That means, I, I think that means this fight is possible for these two guys. Um, you know, I really wouldn't be surprised if they fought. Um, it's been a fight that's been talked about shit since early 2020, maybe even before that. Um, I love the matchup. These are two of my top 12 most must-see fighters right here in boxing that I did a couple months ago. Um... You know, so, yeah, I mean, I think you guys, um, everybody should be excited for this fight if it takes place. Um, I, You know, like I said, I think it's very possible because it's a fight that was on the radar already. I think for Pacquiao, it's probably the most suitable opponent for him considering, in t you know, I don't want to say Mikey's not a challenge for, for Manny Pacquiao because, of course, he is. I absolutely think Mikey could beat Pacquiao, but in terms of a threat, I think it's the right opponent. A threat and combination of a big name, it's the right opponent for Manny. Because Mikey, the one thing he does not possess at this weight is huge power. Now, Mikey is the kind of guy, though, that if he sets you up, he has very good timing. If he sets you up and lands a perfect shot, he can put you out with that. Um, he hurt Jesse Vargas badly, who is a pretty solid uh, welterweight that could um, take shots. Um, so, that way, you know, Mikey showed he, he does have some pop at 147. And, um, you know, but he's not a huge puncher. So, I think that's part of the reason Manny would, by the time that fight happens, it's going to be just shy of two years since he fought Keith Thurman. So I think it's partly why Manny would consider Mikey. Mikey just wants that fight, of course. I mean, it's really, I think this fight is really out of Mikey's control because Manny still has the, I think Manny is just behind Canelo, maybe on the same level, being able to pretty much fight whoever he wants, whenever he wants. Excuse me. And guys, if Manny Pacquiao or Canelo Alvarez is interested in you, you better fucking wait for him because if you don't wait and you fight somebody and you look bad, he's going to roll right by you. So I think it's a good fight, um, you know, and a good matchup for for Mikey to take. So um, I, I do question if the fight could take place in May because you got Canelo already fighting in May. And you got the undisputed title fight between um, Taylor and Ramirez. But maybe they can sneak it in, you know, in May 15th, um, May 29th. Because Ramirez and Taylor is not on pay-per-view. And Canelo and what's his name will probably be optioned on pay-per-view on Saunders. Will probably be optioned for pay-per-view as a backup, but is on the zone. So, I do think that's possible. So, I hope it happens. I love the matchup. It's a fight I've been wanting to see. And um, we'll see if, if, if it is for real and it can get made. And, um, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much it. So that's the news on Pacquiao versus uh, Mikey Garcia. I hope you guys enjoyed it. True boxing. You've been here with the truth.